and welcome back to uh, Gorilla Commutes Corporate Gorilla Edition. I'm wearing I'm wearing a shirt, and I'm not overly delighted about it. I was never never a fan of shirts, but my new job apparently prefers them. I and I it's not something I ever understood really, but we'll get to that in a minute. Oh God! Oh, the old uh, bounce bounce tiger test there. Always good. So is this part of my new commute? Not technically. I was looking for somewhere to pull in uh, to throw on the cameras and I said I'd turn down this nice pretty back road because, you know, I'm, I'm fond of them. And it went on for a while other than that person's house. And I'm really glad I didn't pull in there now because they would have turned up and I would have been like, what's up? Just, uh, just putting on some cameras outside your house. Uh, <laughs> isn't, isn't, that, isn't that fun? Do you, do you also enjoy a strange man putting on cameras outside your house? Yes, I moved home, I moved to a different area of Ireland and I'm really liking it, to be honest. Look, um, do I miss Cork? Yes, uh, I do. There's no, there's no getting around that fact and I think I'm gonna miss Cork uh, for, for a long time, you know? Cork is really, really nice. And there was lots of things there that I I still wanted to explore, that I will still explore. We're in October now, I like to up, update you all. No, I'm still going to go back to Cork and, and finish off the bits that I wanted to finish off. Just, it's going to be harder to do some of them now. We're going right, I could go left, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go this way. You know, one thing I'm really enjoying is, Cork is obviously, look, Cork is a very populated area in Ireland anyway it's not in, in the global global scheme of things it's not really that overly populated um, well, it, as well the kind of the data on Cork lies because if you look up population density by county Cork is rather low now it's still like double the population density of Kilkenny which is where I live now but Cork has all of West Cork which is much more sparsely inhabited oh, than the rest of it and it's also absolutely stunning as you know um, but that kind of skews the figures a bit so even even at that you know obviously I, I lived and worked near the city um, so it was I was dealing with with many many more population dense densities but I was dealing with a lot more of a dense population density <laughs> than I am here which is really nice because like even like roads like this, you know, when I'm just, when I'm vlogging on the way home, vlogging, <laughs> excuse me, I know it's technically the correct term, but it's, I just don't like it, I don't know why, we're gonna call it Motovision, that's what it is now, Motovision, that's, that's what we're gonna, gonna call this from now on, but, but, you know, that's, so we're back now, Kilkenny is around about half the population in the city of Cork, which is lovely, Especially since, you know, I commute, I work in Waterford now and I commute from Kilkenny and it's just as pleasant, you know? It's like I really am enjoying taking my CBF up and down to work. There are downsides to, to you know, living in a lower population area, which is, you know, obviously, look, you have less investment from an amenities perspective because all those, like, amenity-style businesses, so, so something that exists purely to entertain another person, which is, I mean, let's, let's face it, realistically, it's what I'd love to do. If I could earn my living purely off entertaining other people by making videos and whatnot, it'd be class. But let's not kid ourselves, it's also a business that is very hard to maintain if not a lot of people live, you know, in your service area. So that is something that you sacrifice uh, moving back to somewhere like Kilkenny from somewhere like Cork, because there's just there's less amenities there. And there's less, there's less things that are expensive and require you know they require upkeep via money and stuff because it's just just less investment so that's one thing that you know you kind of have to come to terms with again i'm lucky enough in the fact that kilkenny is obviously when there's a tourism allowed it's a pretty large tourist town i love how this cbf handles so you know there's still there's still good investment there so which is good which is good so can't complain too much in fairness i think that place is absolutely class and it does, it plays a fairly large part in why I come home this way because 
who doesn't want to see that every day <laughs> like come on it's it's unreal it is absolutely unreal but another point that i had to make is you know i've been called a dreamer in comments i've been called a dreamer in people who message me on instagram and i am a dreamer I, i'm a proud dreamer and even when i talk about plans for the future on here and stuff and what bikes i want and all that they're all dreams you know but if you don't dream of stuff to do if you don't have if you don't have goals no matter how eph ephemeral i think that's the word it doesn't matter how 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 wishy-washy they are your your, your dreams look at that pretty mm -mm. it's a fine church over there too it's it's not important how you know how you get there whatever else or even if you get there if you have a goal a goal helps you keep going if you have nothing nothing to aim for nothing to work towards and we're back in thomas town now by the way um you're not gonna try and you know i was always as soon as i get something i'm like right what's the next thing what's the next thing what's the next thing what's the next thing and that's that's a kind of what keeps me driven um i don't you know i might annoy some people because maybe they think that i'm never you know thankful for what i have but it's that's not the case it's just that i'm like okay uh, i've done that one now and on to the next one i kind of mention it uh, in the farewell phaserino video um uh, it's like as, as soon as i finish something i i, I want to move on but even at that you know i really want to get to the finish line do you know what i mean oh look at this corner what a day so the other thing then is you know i got asked by a subscriber recently actually it was, you, you would have seen him by now francis um who i was out for a spin with Thanks again, Francis, for taking me. I love this road. But, you know, he asked me, what's next? What's your next bike? What's the plans kind of job, you know? And not that I have a bike picked, but I'm going to do a separate video on why I want a, a particular brand of bike next. But all I will say is the next one, uh, because this wasn't really a next bike per se, right? It's not... That's not how I'm treating it in my head. This was a replacement bike. It was a replacement bike for one of the one of the stock. It wasn't an addition. The next one I want to be an addition, and I want it to be a V-twin. And you know, there is an iconic V-twin out there that I think everyone knows, and that's it's probably what I'm going to go for. Uh, but there's a separate video coming on the whys and ins and outs and all of that one. What I all I will say is is you know. It doesn't really matter what age you get to, in my opinion. Oh, close to the wall. Oh, yes. Oh, another beautiful corner. And around. Out to the hedge. Oh, there's a fly in my helmet. He just came in. Can't look down yet, though. Got to catch the traffic before I talk to you guys again. Oh, you're ruining this corner. It's a beautiful link and you ruined it. You're going slower than the bus. <laughs> it doesn't matter what age you are and it doesn't matter what your dream is. There's no, like, unless your dream is to be the god king of humankind, uh, living in your spacesuit based off a planet called Textulon that happened to pop into existence behind, beside Earth. That's probably safe to call unrealistic most other dreams if, as long as they have some basis in reality are probably fine I mean you know I, I have a dream that I want to live in America at some point it doesn't have to be forever just maybe a couple of years and when I live there I want to own a truck you know that's that's one of my that's one of my, my goals um, one of my other ones is I want I want to one day buy a brand new motorbike that I have customized from factory to a certain taste and then I keep it forever, you know what I mean? And that, that might even be a hand-me-down if, if I ever have kids, which is incredibly unlikely. So it'll probably be a hand-me-down to like my best friends, my best bike friends' children who also will have to like bikes, but you know what I mean? Dreams are called dreams for a reason, it's because they're not easily obtainable. If they're easy, easily obtainable, they wouldn't be dreams, would they? They'd just be things that you're going to do, you know what I mean? Like, it's not a dream for me to say, I'm going to drive to work tomorrow. I am going to drive to work tomorrow, or ride to work, one or the other. It depends on if I'm taking someone with me. But that's not a dream, that's a plan. 
And you can make plans too. Nothing wrong with making plans. But also have dreams. Woohoo! And lastly, the thing that birthed, birthed, these commute spins was, was, was COVID because, you know, I, I did my uh, lockdown commute. Goodbye, bin truck, I'm going this way. And, you know, I think, I, I enjoy them. I enjoy the commute videos. Like, you know, they get good interaction. If any, everyone ever gets completely sick of them, I'll stop doing them. Well, you know, and the last thing I wanted to touch on was, you know, an update from me is, is it's crazy how much, you know, everything for me has changed since, since I did that first lockdown commute video, you know what I mean? I don't even remember how big the channel was then, but it's changed a lot, you know, I've changed my bike. Uh, pretty certain I only took actual ownership of the Jixer after that as well. So that, that's another that's another fairly big change for me too, you know. And obviously then moving home and changing the job. So a lot of things have changed. Um, and unfortunately the old the old C word is still sticking around and and that's the other thing, you know, it's it's gonna be annoying for me because from a new job it is looking like I'm gonna have to you know travel a bit for it foreign travel which is which is a good thing which is a good thing and I'll get to why it's a good thing in a second but it's also a pain in the bum because I only realized uh, yesterday actually that when I travel for one of the travels um, I'm gonna be gone for three weeks to America and I'll update on, on locations very soon in, in about 10 seconds now uh, longer than 10 seconds especially now because I'm still talking but the you know it's three weeks over there and then when I come back <laughs> uh, when I come back I have to isolate here uh, for two weeks that is five weeks that I will be away from my bikes and I don't know am I gonna survive so I'm gonna need I'm gonna need lots of mental support uh, when I'm when I'm trying to survive that if the isolation laws here are still the isolation laws here I won't even be allowed to go out for a spin on my bike on my own, which sucks, which really, really, really sucks. So I'm going to try to line up work for myself to do in the garage on the Magna and on this and on the Jigster. And where will I be if you are one of my American amigos who may possibly want to say aloha to me in person? Oh, no. Wow, that's unblocked. <laughs> I'm so glad I kind of like half know this road in my mind part, so that could have been interesting. Well, I'm going to be in uh, Goldsboro in North Carolina for two weeks, uh, like two weeks of weekdays. And then uh, at the weekends, I'm going to be in a place that's like not Goldsboro. That is, that is uh, down near the coast, but also near Goldsboro. Uh, if that makes sense. I can't remember the name, I'll throw the name up on screen. But that's where we'll, we'll, we'll be staying the weekends, uh, probably because, you know, a bit of change of scenery is nicer. And I am really hoping uh, to rent a bike while I'm over there and do a couple of spin videos. You know, and I'll still be editing and uploading uh, if I can on my laptop. It'll be challenging, it'll be interesting, but I'll try to do it. Uh, maybe it'll, I might have to go back to one, one video a week during that time, but I really obviously still want to keep getting videos out. But obviously my, my actual job comes first because that, that's what pays for bikes and stuff, so it has to be done, you know? And then the location number two is uh, St. Saint, Saint Pete's in Florida. So I'll be there for a week, and I'm not sure about what stories of the weekend because I have to fly back. Uh, also, so I'll see if I can like swing it that I can fly back to Sunday evening and and stay in Florida for those for Saturday Sunday or something like that or Friday Saturday Sunday and maybe go to the Dirty Shame and stuff like that and meet up with a few of my Floridian friends. That would be so 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 cool. And even if I can get two days off work and just hang around uh, with all the people who I've met in Florida 
through this channel that would be that would be so cool i really like this bike i really like it it's funny you know a few people have messaged me saying oh it's not that big an upgrade over the fz6 it's like yeah yeah it, it, it is <laughs> You know, I had the FZ6 a long time. I put a lot of mileage onto it. And I absolutely love the Phaserino. But this this bike is just it's it's just more refined in every way and it fits me so much better. So it is yes, it's it's an improvement. But anyway, if you watch, thanks for watching. Uh, if any of the comments spurred your interest or any of the topics we talked about today spurred your interest, please leave a comment in the comment section and let me know why I would love to hear your feedback yeah and as always a special thanks to my patrons because you know you keep me making making me want to go around corners like this I know Hatter doesn't approve generally especially when I put my head near walls <laughs> but you know I really, really appreciate the sport all the time. Um, I really enjoy all the feedback from, you know, my my my, my dreams and my plans on, on there that I talked to you about. And yeah, until next time, thank you very, 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 very much for watching. I am not that far from home now, but I have to literally dump all my camera equipment and work stuff and go back to the shops to buy stuff for dinner for me and Toaster. So yeah, until next time, thank you again. Adios. Outro crew Does anyone else here just like I don't know I don't even know what it is I don't know is what films I watched or what what like attracted me so much to uh, America as a place but does anyone else who's not from America in the outro crew really want to live in America and conversely does anyone from anywhere that isn't Ireland want to live here and why let me know in the comments oh this is my turn okay bye Cows! So many cows! There's two fields of them. I'm telling you, they're taking over. They're taking over.